Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm product manager for Dizigo CC. And in this video, I'll show you how Dizigo CC supports life science customers to monitor their critical equipment. And for that, we are switching into the role of Laura. So Laura is a GMP expert working for a pharmaceutical company. And her job is to make sure that the laboratories and the deep freezers and the associated equipment are in proper condition. And for that, what she typically does is she uses the Dizigo CC GMP dashboard. And as we will see now in this scenario, it is good that she constantly has an eye on it. So let's switch to our machine. Okay, so here we are, and we are mainly responsible for the condition of three deep freezers. And this GMP dashboard here already gives us a nice overview on their conditions. So we see that everything is green, which is always a good sign. And we can also read the temperatures here, and we see that they're all within a good and acceptable range. But now looking at this dashboard, we also recognize that the temperature here in room 304 is starting to increase. So first of all, this is not so unusual because the doors of these deep freezers are being opened here and there. But now we see that in this case, it doesn't really stop. And also the color has just changed to yellow and yellow is actually not such a good sign anymore. But looking at the summary bar, we also see that we have now received a temperature error warning, which is basically a first pre-alarm informing us that something is going in the wrong direction here. And I will also show you at the end of the demo that we will receive an email from the system, which is informing us about the situation to really make sure that we are aware of it and we are able to react quickly. So the next thing that we should now do is we should navigate to the graphic page of that deep freezer to see what's going on. And looking at this, we already see that for some reasons, the door here is held open. We don't know why, we just see that's not closing anymore and we're also not able to close it from here. So the only thing that we could now do is we could call somebody working there locally and ask them to have a look and try to close the door manually. And while we're waiting, we are still seeing that the temperature is further rising and we're starting to get a little bit nervous because if this temperature here is getting too high, it might be that the goods which are stored in this deep freezer are becoming unusable. So really hoping that the person that we have called is able to close it. Okay, so fortunately he was, and we will see that the situation will now relax and the temperature will go down again, which is good. So we also see that the system has in the meantime generated another event because the pre-alarm now has become a real alarm because the temperature has exceeded its configured high limit. And what we now still have to do is we have to acknowledge this event, but since this temperature sensor is a so-called validated object, which means that cannot just be manipulated or changes are only allowed by authorized persons. This also means that now when we try to acknowledge it, the system will prompt us, first of all, to enter our password again, to make sure that it's really us performing this action. And we also have to add a comment, which is then stored in the audit trail for documentation purposes. So this is done. And when we now check our mailbox, we will also see that the system has sent us two mails. The first one is because of the temperature error warning. And the second one is coming from the actual alarm. And this mail even contains a report where the issue is described and it also has a trend chart attached with the temperature. And all this functionality of having this validation profiles and informing people not only using the dashboard, but also, for example, by mail, just make sure that always the appropriate persons are informed about bad conditions and that everything is documented properly, which is very important in critical infrastructure. So this was the Dizigo CC life science scenario. If you liked it, if you're interested to see more, please also check out the other videos where we look into the other scenarios.